Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Black Friday is here, it's finally upon us, and we had a crazy, crazy first day of this Black Friday promo. Obviously, one of the biggest promos in foot, uh, promos in foot ultimate team. And um, I'm not gonna say that it didn't disappoint today because the content was, it was, this content was okay. Um, but especially the things that we saw in terms of packs and the number of packs that were open today was unbelievable i think it was the it has to go on record as the most uh supply day ever on fifa honestly it was insane the amount of packs that ea dropped today the set uh, the third lightning round uh at what would that be that would be at uh 9 p.m uk 9 p.m uk they dropped ultimate packs 125,000 coin packs 25 dollars a piece and they dropped 500,000 packs in the lightning round it took 40 minutes to sell out but that is a ton of packs on the market the 100k pack lightning round an hour before that one sold out with like 250,000 packs so there were so many packs open today which really shows me that this market has now a lot of coins because what people were able to do is open a lot of packs get a lot of coins um and use those coins to buy teams and to do SBCs and stuff like that on this game. So I want to look at some of the market fluctuations today, some of those cards that got into best of team of the week. So that uh, player moment stuff that we were talking about yesterday, it wasn't actually a new promo. It was basically just an SBC. And that's what this stuff is. Uh, we got the player moments Morales today. That's the card design down there. I'll, I'll take a look at that SBC in a second. Uh, and we'll take a look at all the stuff that we got today. But I want to start off with best of team of the week so the cards that they put in best of team of the week let me find this on twitter um because they tweeted out a picture of it i do believe the cards that they put in for best of team of the week were right here these are the cards right over here on twitter they got messi ronaldo hazard de bruyne Lewandowski, mbappe ben yetter nine mertens dibala and mani so they threw in literally all the top cards in the team of the week one thing that I thought was interesting was there was not a single defender in this set. And honestly, there was only two midfielders. Only Nijgolan and De Bruyne were midfielders out of the squad. The rest were attackers, which I thought was very, very interesting. So that I kind of focused some of my buys earlier today in the defensive area because people probably weren't getting these cards from packs uh, and putting them, or they weren't getting defenders from this best of team of the week. But obviously, this is going to make people want to open packs. Messi, Ronaldo, um, Mbappe in packs, this Mane card, which some say is one of the best in the game. Even this Ben Yedder card, one of the most used cards in foot, they put that card back into the game. So EA did a masterclass today. The best of team of the week, much better than last year, I think. Last year, we had some cards in there where there's okay, but we've had more team of the week this year with higher quality players. So they were able to throw those cards in. Also today, we got an objective. And I think this objective is actually pretty cool because the rewards that it gives are pretty dope. You have seven days to do this from when it started. Untradeable rewards. But basically, all you have to do is play any foot mode and win matches. So you could go into squad battles, play 25 games, and get this easily uh, done. And you get some pretty solid rewards. The five wins, you get a draft token pack. It's a guaranteed, that's basically a 15,000 uh, coin value pack with the draft token, which is nice. You get a premium gold players pack at 10 wins. You get a mega pack at 15 wins. And at 25 wins, you get another mega pack and you get the, um, the Black Friday kit, which is pretty nice. But I want to talk about these packs, man. These packs, this is worth going after. If you have not played a lot of games, I know it's not the most ideal. Um, if you're playing Weekend League, this definitely helps you out because you are playing a lot of games this weekend. I would try to get these games in, if you can, before Monday at 6 p.m. UK when those best of Team of the Week cards go out of packs because these packs from Objectives are honestly really good. So again, uh, I would try to get those in if you can in a decent amount of time. And yes, these best of Team of the Week cards... Uh, they're in packs until Monday at 6 p.m. UK. They never really told us, but it says in the loading screen that they're out for that amount of time. Now, for the SBCs, uh, we got two SBCs today. Uh, and, of course, all the Flash SBCs as well. Um, as I'm recording this video, there's going to be another Flash SBC that probably will come out in the next, like, five minutes or so. So we'll take a look at that on stream. Uh, but we got Morales, Player Moments card, and Flashback Balotelli, which both of these cards look pretty cool, right? These are both pretty beastly cards. 
But if we go and take a look on Footbin of their prices right now, um, they are a little bit pricey. And that's kind of been the theme with some of these SBCs. But I think they made some of the players good enough that uh, a lot of people were fine paying the price. Balotelli is around uh, 180K on PlayStation, about, about 200K on Xbox. And then Morales is about the same, about 200,000 coins. But people like this Morales card because he is... Uh, I think a lot of people did this SBC today because a lot of a lot of panic selling on the um, Iago Aspas card, which I would say is pretty comparable to him. Although this is more of like a striker. Um, if you you throw uh, some sort of chemistry style on there that increases his finishing, looks like a pretty beast card. 90 composure, I think, is the stat there that interests me. Four star weak foot and four star skills is huge, um, and he's got the high medium work rates as well. So I think a lot of people did that SBC. Looks like a pretty solid card. And then we got a, uh, a kit SBC as well. Um, we got a kit SBC, Anthony, what is it? An Anthony something? Anthony Joshua kit uh, right there. So we got that kit today as well. And then of course, we've been getting the flash SBCs all day, which have been giving out okay packs. Nothing spectacular, just okay packs so far. There was mi one mishap. EA tweeted out today that they were going to release a... It was one of the flashback SBCs. They tweeted out incorrectly. They said they were putting out a, what is it? Actually, they deleted the tweet. They deleted the tweet to what it was, but they put out a rare gold pack. And on Twitter, when they, they tweeted out, they said it was a um, a rare gold players pack, which is a 50K pack. So they put a 25K pack in the store. But what we were actually kind of thinking we were getting is a uh, is a 50k pack, which kind of confused a lot of people when we actually didn't get the 50k pack. So that was a little bit underwhelming. Uh, but the flash SBCs have been solid so far. I think there was a 45k pack SBC kind of late in the night UK, UK time, and uh, that really got some supply on the market. And I want to take a look at some graphs now, looking at some of the fluctuations on card prices today. There were card prices that went crazy high, stuff that went crazy low all sorts of stuff on the market. Uh, I wanna talk about things that moved up and down and stuff that we know about tomorrow that's gonna be happening as well. So today's graph, basically it started all around this time in the afternoon, just after noon, uh, after noon UK, 2 p.m. UK today, we got the announcement of best of team of the week. There was some panic selling that ensued from there. We had a first lightning round and some promo packs released until then, but until 6 p.m. UK, there really wasn't much. 6 p.m. UK, UK t uh, came, excuse me and we had the 50k lightning rounds we had the sbcs come out and uh a lot of the gold market went up and i'm going to show you right now a lot of this gold market going up is actually because of people going out and doing the sbcs look at the index 86 you need some 85 rated squads for balotelli and morales and this is how i can tell that people were doing those sbcs as well as the icon upgrades a lot of people were waiting until today to do icon upgrades because they thought it was going to be cheaper and yes those sbcs did get cheaper uh, but it actually was the cheapest like around this time frame and around this time frame as well uh, it got under 500,000 coins at one point to do that base icon upgrade but the 86s went flying they came back down and now you can see they've kind of risen back up uh, but we got a lot of supply around here in this range and the SBC fodder today has actually been very, very flippable except for the 83s. Now I want to talk about 83s for a moment here. This huge bubble right here, what has caused this is basically um, the introduction of the code, which they dropped today on the, they dropped this code on Twitter today. It was from Footwatch. Basically, this is the pack code of a Team of the Week SBC coming. So this is what we're going to be getting on Saturday. Um, I want to talk about this for a little bit first before we kind of talk about other market movements from the day. But we're guaranteed one currently active Team of the Week player. So that's going to be a different pack. It's like a current Team of the Week player pack. And I wonder if they're doing that to encompass the best of Team of the Week. Um, but they also have that prior pack. You know, we had the Team of the Week upgrade pack that was from what, like last week or two weeks ago? So they could re-release that SBC as well and put that into the store. So we might have a couple different SBCs that come out with these uh, Team of the Week upgrades. I think they're going to come out today on Saturday. I really think it's going to be Saturday today when they come out because uh, that just makes sense. It would make sense. They came out last year on this day. It would really make sense for everybody to get all these coins and then EA needs some way to suck those coins off the market on Saturday. Uh, they also have two other packs in here, an 81 to 87 rated player pack and an 82 plus 
player pack. So then the 82 plus player pack is going to be one that I'm probably going to do a few of myself to try out and see if they're good, especially because we have these best of team of the week players that are in the game and packable as informs. I'll try a few of them, you know, just to have some fun. That's probably going to require a um, 12 gold or 11 gold players, all rare. It's what I would assume for that. And then the 81 to 87 rare player pack. It looks like just one player. Uh, yeah, it can, guarantees a rare gold player rated 81 to 87. For that, I would guesstimate that that pack would require um, probably 11 gold players and then maybe four or six rare. So that would be something in, I would uh, expect from that. And I remember before, from those um, the 81 to 86 packs that we had last year, they didn't give out as good of packs as the 82 pluses. So I do remember that from late in the year, like team of the season time last year from some of the market movements that we had then. So now I want to talk into stuff that I did on the market today. If you guys listened to what I said a couple days prior, talking about the out of packs informs being like the best move, they really were the best move today. I made a lot of coins today. I have a limited amount of coins. I don't have a ton of coins yet. I'm on like 1.5, 1.6 million. Uh, I think after today though, I should be closer to like the 1.7, 1.8 range, getting closer to two mil because I made a decent amount of coins today on these informs. There was a lot of panic selling. At first, what, right off the bat, when I saw that some of the cards that weren't in best of team of the week, I went out on the market and I snatched some informs because I knew those informs were going to rise um, after all the packs today because obviously these informs don't get put back into packs. They're out of packs. That means they don't have any supply, but they're gonna have demand as more people get coins and build teams on the market. So this nine golden card today, there's just a huge price difference between that um, 86 nine golden, which was in best of team of the week and the 85. So this card today was at like 75 K picked up a few of them. And I was able to sell them like 85 to 88. This Fabinho was probably my best one on the day. Picked this up for 180 K with the shadow sold it just about an hour ago for 220. That was a really, really nice profit on that. Ricardo Pereira's were good. 70 K for the, for those bottom at like 55, 56. Uh, Theo Hernandez informs about these at like 50, anywhere from 52 to 54, 55K. I sold them all at 66. And then you're going to see a lot of gold cards. I still have a couple informs that I'm flipping, but I started trading later in the day with a lot of gold cards because what I realized was, and I'll show you <clears throat> the rest here. I have still a lot of them that I'm selling. A lot of these 87s fluctuate uh, all the freaking time on this market. All these Fernandinos right here were bought at 22 or 23,000 coins, sold them for 27. All these Laports were bought at 23K, sold at 27 as well. What I saw, and we're gonna go over to Footbin to, see, to talk about this, is these cards rotated in price on the market a ton. So like right now, Alder YRL is one of the cheapest 87 rated cards in the game. Shows him at 25K and he's like the third cheapest. We look at his hourly graph, I saw this happen today. Um, all the wire all goes to 21K, it's about 20, 22K, goes up to 27 right away, back down to 21, and then it goes back up to like 25, 26. But these cards are fluctuating between like 22, 23, 27, and 28K all of the time because for whatever reason, the 87 rated, and it works with the 85s and 86s and 88s as well, but these 87 rated just get kind of rare. They just get kind of rare or I don't know what it is. Like, I think what it is, is they get put into the SBC solutions and they don't get rare. What am I saying? They're getting packed all the time. They get put in the SBC solutions. Like Laporte right now shows us 23K. Benzema shows us 23K. All the Royal 24, Tiago Silva 24. So those are some of the cheapest ones. They're getting put into the SBC solutions and footbin for the uh, base icon pack and for the Balotelli and Moments Morales as the cheapest cards by rating. And since Footbin is showing Laporte at 23K, you know, people go back over here to Foot to, to FIFA and like, all right, so I got to buy Laporte for this SBC. How much is he? All right, well, Footbin says he's 23K. All right, well, what is he? Well, Laporte actually right now is 24,000 coins, 23K. But for earlier in today when the UK was on and the market was hot and there was a lot of people on, those SBCs, uh, we're showing the cheapest players on Footbin, but they actually, when you get on the market, they were like 27 or 28,000 coins because everybody was using those cheapest solutions and making that card rise in price. So basically it was kind of just like trading with the SBC solutions today is what I started doing. Cause I had like, you know, 500, 600 K. I could buy a lot of gold cards in that price range for, for around the 20 K range. 
So it just worked out for me and it was, it's making me some solid coins. I bought some Laporte's, some Cruz, some Tiago Silva. So a lot of those are still selling right now at the moment as well. I did have, I'm going to have one loss on the day and that loss is going to be, I bought an informed Dybala because at one point in the day today, uh, it looked like the supply on these on these cards was stopping and that everything was booming. Right after the 100,000 coin lightning round before the 125k packs, stuff was starting to rise and it was rising fast. If we look back over here on Footbin, I'm not sure what exactly is going to show this the best. Probably actually the index 100. Yeah, the index 100 shows this pretty well. This is, there was a lot of rising after the first couple lightning rounds, even the second lightning round, boom, we get up to here and then the third one starts and it everything just kind of started to trickle downwards. And then right here at 2130, we got a um, flash SBC that had a 45K pack. That was a decently easy SBC. That dropped the market another bunch and then it kind of continued to go up. But it seemed like right here, the market was just going to continue to fly right before the 125Ks. So I bought that Dybala at 156, I think. Uh, 158 or something like that and I was I thought that you know in a couple hours it's gonna be get bought up be more rare and it would go to like 180 or something but that was definitely not the case as we kept getting pounded and pounded with packs as I said it was like one of the most mental days of supply we've ever seen on this game uh, with the amount of packs that were opened it was honestly nuts it was crazy uh, with with that way but uh, yeah so that's kind of a way that you guys can actually trade right now if you want to I'm expecting these cards to rise up um in the morning a little bit as people wake up play weekly games and with all their new coins they do some um uh, icon upgrade sbcs i think that is a very possible thing for people to wake up and do in the morning or even finish on morales watch a player review on youtube maybe do the morales sbc or balotelli something like that i think that's very possible as well but again i want to talk about this uh this team of the week upgrade packs coming out and what this is going to mean for the market, of course, the stuff that was put into best of team of the week, a lot of this stuff dropped today and I'll be talking, I wanna see this for one more day. Tomorrow is gonna be, or today, Saturday is gonna be a big day in terms of what happens on this, this game for these card prices. Based on what SBCs they put out for the team of the week upgrade, I'm really curious to see what happens. These informs are actually going lower and lower right now. Ben Yedder's inform, 229,000 coins. So that's the lowest that he's been yet. And I think it's going to keep going with all that supply that we got today, even though he is a super duper, uh, you know, desired card in this game. He's got a lot of hype. A lot of people want to get him. He is being panic sold a bunch right now. Even 240, like 238, 236 is really, really low for that card. And I think it's going to go even lower. If they release a tradable team of the week SBC today, if they release a tradable one, I do think you're going to see some more crashing on the market because people are going to say, yo, I can go do that tradable SBC for probably around like 50, 60, 70,000 coins for a tradable team of the week upgrade. Have a chance at packing myself one of these best of team of the week players, Ronaldo, uh, Mbappe, Messi, you know, one of those guys. That scares me a little bit. I do think there could be a drop on all informs tomorrow and some panic selling on all informs um, once we do see uh, that SBC. There might be a little bit of panic selling in the morning and that's what I want to talk about as well. Before the SBC comes out tomorrow, I think you might see a little bit of panic selling. It's already kind of started already. Uh, we're talking like Nelson Semedo's card right here. He was 135,000 coins at one point today, but he's kind of dipped back down. I saw him at 120 just a couple minutes ago. He's actually right back up to where he was. Wow. Semedo's back to 134, 133. So he was at 120 because people saw the SBC code put on Twitter, and now it's gone back down a little bit. Uh, because the panic selling that was quick and short has subsided. But I think you might see a little more panic selling as the UK wakes up this morning as you're watching this video. Check the prices if you have any informs in your team that you bought today for a low price. If you're scared that they're going to keep dropping lower, uh, maybe kind of get out and be, be, be safe about it. But then be very careful watching the prices today uh, at 6 p.m. UK when they put the SBC out, which is when I think it, it should come out. If there's a tradable one, I would expect these cards to go down in price a lot if it is including the team of the week cards that are from past weeks. If the SBC comes out and it only includes this current week and best of team of the week, then if there's any panic selling on any of these cards like a Semedo or you know some of the guys that I was talking about uh, looking at earlier today, like the Fabinho inform, if there's any panic selling on that, I mean, on that, that would be a uh, 
great opportunity to get on some of those because those cards are going to rise if they get panic sold and then they're not actually able to be packed. There would definitely be, that's a fresh Fabinho right there for 198. Uh, that's interesting. A fresh Fabinho for 198. I might have to wait a while to sell that, but I'm, I'm going to check and see where the next fresh one is really quick on this video. 215. Oh, that's, this is the, this is a fresh. I can't even buy it. I don't have enough coins. Oh my gosh. Yo, I need to sell something. The next fresh Fabinho. Where's he at? That fr that's a fresh Fabinho, man. There's the next fresh one. 287k, 294, and then 198. Yo, I need to get some coins. <laughs> I need to get some coins and buy that. Something needs to sell, please. Uh, but we're gonna keep going with the video because I think it's gonna be there for a while. Nobody's noticed that it's fresh. I'll see if I can get that at the end if I sell something. But um, if you see any panic selling the informs tomorrow. Just watch their prices and if it's uh if we see something come out at 6 p.m uk and it's just the current team of the week or uh team of the week that is in packs including best of the panic selling on those informs and they might shoot back up but then i think tomorrow night saturday night again you're going to see the beginning of a the weekend league sell-off and people are going to start go doing sbcs i want to talk about 83s for a moment as well a lot of 83s are up in price already Ever Benega is somebody who I look at as a like a usual suspect for an 83 rated investment. These cards are now selling at 2,000 coins because people know. Uh, it's, I think you know Matt HD Gamer might have had a little bit of a thing to do with this because of his video talking about bidding on these cards. But these cards were like you could get Benega on bid for like 1.2 or 1.3 k, maybe even a little bit lower than that. A lot of 83s were really low during lightning rounds and even after that supply that I showed you on the graph. They dipped down really low. They were really low before the, the pack code was put out on Twitter. So uh, a lot of these cards are going to be overinvested, I think, in my opinion. Some of people are buying thousands upon thousands of coins worth, uh, even millions of coins worth of 83s. So when the SBC comes out tomorrow, I would be very, very careful. And I would not just go ahead and like buy 83s because you think they're going to go up watch the 83s and if you invested in 83s i might hold them because everybody's going to see the SBC come out i'm like okay the team of the week upgrade is out i need to go sell my 83s because they're probably going to the moon so they go and they look and they get impatient like wait 83s i bought 83s for 2000 coins and everybody's undercutting right now and now they're 1.6 or 1.5k and there might be a lot of undercutting in the first hour or so maybe even two hours of um, that SBC being out because so many people have invested in 83s, even 82s and 84s as well. So just be very, very careful about that. And if you see panic selling, there will be a point where the panic selling is over and the cards start to shoot back up in price and probably get up to like maybe 3,000 coins. That's, an, that's the second area where we can reinvest is wait for the panic selling to be done on the 83s like this, then they'll shoot up later um, if they are actually over invested. So if you're going to do anything right now, I would say if you can get them on, on bid for like 1.3 K 1.5 K at the most, that's the safe way to do it. Maybe get a couple on bid for like one five, but I don't think you're going to be able to get many in that price range. I have enough now to buy that. Uh, we got a sale there. That's huge. Can I please go buy this Fabinho 198? It is fresh. Thank you. I have 2,000 coins now. I'm glad that popped up on the video. A fresh Fabinho for 198K. I'm going to list that for like 270 and be the, the very cheapest one on the market. That's a fresh Fabinho, man. Crazy. Crazy. I'm glad. That's why you should always check cards like that. When you see them on the game, I'm going to relist. When you see a basic chem style sometimes when you're, when you're searching cards, check and see if it's fresh because that can sometimes make the card value uh, crazy, crazy high. It might take me a while to sell that, but it's going to be worth it. It's a fresh card. Somebody's going to look for a fresh Fabinho. There's not many on the market. There's not going to be many unless we have a team of the week SBC that is tradable. That those could be packed from. So at the very worst, I'll try to sell that for like 220 K and it's fresh. So we'll go with that, but watch out for that team of the week SBC stuff tomorrow. Be careful with stuff. It could cause some crashing on the market. Could cause a little bit of panic selling. If the SBC is cheap, Regardless, if we you can pack um, best of team of the week cards from an upgrade SBC, people are going to put some coins into it. People are going to do it. They're going to spend coins on it. So you might see some things maybe that were really high tonight, especially on the middle to low tier range. Maybe some gold cards that are very popular that people buy for their teams. Maybe like a guy like Griezmann, who didn't really go up too much today. He was like 140 something in the um, 
all the pack supply. Right now, it's like mid 150. So you might see a guy like that get panic sold a little bit tomorrow as people go and do SBCs, even some past informs. If you're up on cards that you bought today before all the Black Friday madness because you thought people were going to build teams, which they did, stuff went up, take the coins, please, because again, we're going to have some panic today, I do think. It's all going to depend on what EA puts out for that SBC, uh, but hopefully they do make a good SBC and uh, allow us to pack best of team of the week because that could cause a panic. Now, if you want to buy any of the best of team of the week cards, you're going to, again, wait to see what this SBC does to them. Like that Ben Yedder I mentioned, the man could be around 200,000 coins uh, in some panic selling because if you have that SBC come out as tradable, you're going to have a lot of panic selling. You're going to have a lot of people who want to get that Ben Yedder card. And you're going to have a lot of people that think, man, his price is going to go down because there's a tradable SBC you can pack this card from. So definitely watch this card price. And again, today, some of the we saw some of the cheapest prices on these cards on their daily fluctuation today when there was panic selling. So that might be some of the cheapest times to get a Ben Yedder card is if you do get him uh, tomorrow in a panic sell. There's a big panic um, on these best of team of the week cards because of a team of the week S. B, C. So that's long enough for a little bit of a market recap and crazy market movements today. Honestly, it was insane. A lot of stuff that happened. Again, the supply, the amount of coins on this market right now are just ridiculous. Um, and I'm waiting until after this week to, I really think that it's going to be a, uh, a pretty big week on this game. Now we did, uh, did we get a new flash SBC premium mixed players pack? Uh, what is this one? This probably is going to be over by the time you guys watch this video, but it's a pre-mixed players pack, 90 chemistry. Not bad. Uh, you don't even need, wow, you can do bronzes for this. Interesting. I'm actually, we might have to hit that one up. It's not the best pack ever, but you can use bronzes. So we might have to hit that one up. If you enjoyed this video, boys, smash the thumbs up on it. If you have any questions, comment down below, please. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>